Hello everyone and welcome to this episode of the Puzzle House series and in this episode we are going to be building a laundry. Now I don't actually uh, build a lot of laundries. I am going to be relying very heavily on the laundry day pack here for this because it's obviously the uh, one to go for but yeah um, it's one of those things that I kind of don't build a lot uh, simply because sometimes you just don't have the space for them but in this house which is going to be an enormous house uh, we are going to have a space ah now color hmm I might just go with gray and I'm thinking gray because I'm just thinking about the kitchen and I kind of want to reflect the colors in the kitchen um, into the laundry and I did like a little indentation here because I wanted to have like this sitting back a little bit. I don't know why, I just kind of did. So if you're wondering what what I'm doing and uh, why I'm doing it, so I'm building something called the Puzzle House. So the Puzzle House is a series where I'm building all of the rooms first and after I've built all the rooms, I've got to somehow put together <laughs> a house out of all of these rooms. So what I'm aiming to do is a uh, two bedroom oh, i wish this was kind of like around the other way ah. um a two not a two bedroom a th three bedroom a four bathroom home that uh has also a laundry as you can see here an entrance way a study and um obviously kitchen and dining and a living area so we'll see how we go I'm thinking maybe it might need a, like an upstairs living area I don't really know at this stage but yeah so far we have done a kitchen a dining a one of the bathrooms like the master bathroom as I will call it and also a uh, the first of the bedrooms which was a cool modern luxe bedroom that I really liked it was lovely so I think this might be just about be it for what I'm going to grab from the laundry day pack. Maybe we could put like this one under here as well. So I might have to change the colours. I'm not 100% as to what I'm doing there. Oops. <laughs> that looks funny. Um... We'll see because I'm just thinking about the kitchen. We went with like greys and then we brought out the flooring with a uh, natural wood. I actually don't know if I like that. Maybe we could go something like that. Or we can move it along just a little bit and just so um, and none of it's going to snap but that's fine. But then if I do that, that's too big for there. Hmm. Because these are wider than this. But I like that these match these. Huh. Hmm. Ha. Hmm. Hmm. I guess I don't have to do like all of those there. I guess. And I could like maybe move that along this way. And then I could put like a plant or something. Something there. That's a possibility. Okay. So I think maybe we should have like a freestanding... Maybe we should have a freestanding sink in here, like that one there, and we could do like the laundry basket elsewhere, maybe there. So we have, well we could have like a couple of laundry baskets I guess, as an option, like you know you have a whites and coloreds kind of thing going on. Not that we have two uh, laundry baskets in our house. Do you have two laundry baskets in your house? <laughs> um, but like, you know, separating out the things? Maybe you do. Tell me in the comments if you do. I'm very interested. I don't personally um, because I just sort it out. But maybe it is probably more efficient. But I just can't rely on my kids to sort these things out separately themselves. So, uh, so I don't. Don't rely on them for that. Um... So we've kind of got these, 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 these. I don't think we really need those. Do we need to have um, the light bulb hanging down? Maybe. I do want to go with the natural wood floor. So I'm just going to switch laundry day off now. And what floor do we, do we go with the eco living, I think, floor for the natural floor. Now as to the wallpaper. 
We had the... Uh, not that one. Um, it was the Genero, the Book Nook Kit Genero Max. Oh, what was under that one? Where are you, Book Nook Kit one? Is it under this one? It is under this one. So we could do the same again here. Or what did we have in the kitchen? I kind of do want to do what's in the kitchen. Let me have a wee look. Okay, so here's the kitchen that we built. So we had actually, I'm always thinking because, you know, it's kind of quite wet in the laundry. It would make sense to have the tiles. So let's go with the tiles and the lighter dare to be squares. That makes it quite light. So I think we need to go darker in some of the equipment. So let's see how we go on that in terms of what color options we have and whether or not this idea is going to work. So we could go, I guess, black with that. Black with that. Um, what are our options here? I might go blue because blue is a theme that's running through our house. And yeah, we can go black. So I mean, this black is really quite gray, so <laughs> it works out fine anyhow. Okay, so we've got some some stuff. So we've got something that we need to put there. What else would you have in a laundry room? So for a laundry room, I would expect to have like basically a lot of like linen storage and stuff. I'm thinking I might actually just shrink this down and have maybe this on a different wall and like have this in here like this because I don't think you need like an enormous laundry and like a lot of our rooms that we have in the house so far are quite large. Um, no. Let me bring that in a little bit more and is that going to flicker? Is it going to dink and flicker? No. I'm going to bring that down. Oh, that's okay. So I'm thinking um, just like a nice thin little plant maybe could squeeze in there. Oh, we'll have to shrink that. Is actually a little too wide of all things. I don't think like a wall thing is going to work there. Um, what is the thinnest of things? I could have this little thin thing. That's quite thin. There is like another thin one like that around. Uh, not that one. I'm thinking this one is actually going to yeah be too wide. I need something that just goes straight up like that one. I might just maybe do that one. A lawn, um, a laundry, <laughs> a cactus kind of makes sense in the laundry, kind of, kind of, sort of, but it's just a little teeny bit too wide. Um, 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 hmm, what else we got? What else we got? Ah, oh, these ones, perfect. No, are you just a little bit too wide? Ah. A little too wide. Ah. These leaves that are flicking off to the side, they are doing me in. Oh man, this is the bestest plant. I love this plant. But that's definitely going to be too wide. Well, I think that I'll just have to go with my original thought of this one. There we go, and so we have a little bit of space here. I'm gonna actually start drawing in the walls. And thinking about where we're gonna put the door entrance. I've been putting like the door entrance like here. I'm actually thinking here for this one, just to mix it up a little bit. So we're not having the samey same like all the way through. It's a bit of an odd shaped room, but that's okay. Let's uh, add that there. So let's have this as the entrance here. Um, I'm going to have all different doors on everything, but at the end of the day, I will need to change them anyhow, I think, when we get to the point of needing rooms to be joined together. Okay, so we've got our colours and our whites sorting here for the laundry. I need something like a little here. Maybe we could do another odds and ends table. And 
much maybe some decorations or something there so what else have we got that you would want to use in the laundry room so we've got our beer light which does work i mean i don't see the laundry needing uh um, um, um windows i feel like this would be like quite an interior room i kind of want to have something like running along here as well like a table or maybe some more of these in uh these oz and ends tables but i want to sort of mix it up a little bit and not have the same stuff running through so let's have a wee look um i know there's some stuff here in display so let's have a wee look there so we could do something like the hanging shelf which is awesome i love this shelf it's nice and flexible but maybe not right, not right for the laundry but i do want to have this laundry shelf and it needs to have like space at this end so that it can have that bit hanging down that's so pretty i mean look at all these lovely squishy things that you can get so maybe oh yeah we can do that in the gray so that's lovely so we can probably flick that through to here and so we've got that running down so it's pretty so it's going to be a bit monochromatic but we'll add some blue in so don't worry about that so we can spice things up with a bit of blue um so we could have like shh that's more garagey right we should do a garage okay i'll do a garage as well i'll have to add that to my list i'm gonna write that down right now before i forget because i know how i am and i will forget so we've got cabinet for days hutch no that's more dining that's a book thing um so that's more bath cabinet does kind of work though because it has got the thingies in it that's a curio cabinet that's kitchen is there anything else here laundry ish i mean we could do the honest wall tool rack a work tool rack but i think that probably would suit i mean obviously it's a stable but it would obviously it would more suit the garage i think because we're not going to have a stable in this build what would you use that for Hmm. you could always do like a walk-in pantry as well there's like lots of things that you could use for walk-in pantry stuff i think sarah's scrap bookshelf that's cute nifty nooks display no household plants books cabinets i always forget about these um shelf the shelving here for the that comes with island living and also the jungle adventure sh extra shelving that you get because you get like this cute little uh bathroom shelving that i can't see right here hang on let's do jungle adventure so they, there's this stuff here like you have like the kitchenware shelving um and there is also like these cabinets and stuff that like um, bathroom cabinets and i always forget about them because you have like this i actually really like the kitchen stuff that you get with the um jungle adventure pack but yeah i forget about the fact that you get like this cute little bathroom cabinets and there's like a hanging the hanging um, kitchen stuff as well so you can do like a really nice um like there's a couple of options with the with the sinks and stuff like that so there's actually yeah some really cool kitchens and stuff you could do with that stuff i use the jungle adventure building stuff all the time it's really good anywho sorry distracted on a tangent um i don't think there was anything else here that we can really use it's laundry-esque sort of bathroom stuff but i don't know do we want to do like a crafting room as well <laughs> this house is gonna be enormous <laughs> oh man oh boy okay so let's have a look in our wall decorations and see if there's anything else there that we want to add that might be quite laundry and then we'll have to look through uh the rest of the decorations to see what else we can use to fill because we've got like a few spaces that we need to fill and i've got some stuff here i'm always thinking do we want like a little couple of little seats in here and we want to have like a nice rug in the middle 
Uh, maybe like a table for folding laundry is a theory. Not that there's some sort of actually do that, I don't think. But uh, it could be quite cool as a thing that would be an idea. I mean, the, the whole idea behind building, for the most part, is the story you can sort of see behind your sims use of things particularly when they're like decorative items like this i mean obviously they're not going to use any of this but the, you know you can sort of get the story behind it is that you know uh you could dry your delicate more delicate stuff here that needs hanging so that you know you don't need to do so much on the ironing you've got your storage and stuff here so you know there's a story there within the items but it's not necessarily all functional and it's not all stuff that your sim will actually do but that's the whole idea, I guess, behind the build is, well, it's part of the idea anyhow, is that you are creating this um, story behind what you think your sims could be doing. Not what they necessarily will be able to do, but what they could do. <laughs> and I think that's cool. So let me flick through some of this decorations and see what we can find. Okay, so I've got quite a few bits and pieces here, so I'm just going to work out what we're going to do with them all and <laughs> go from there. <laughs> so uh, we've got like, I do want to put like a little couch or something here. So let's go choose a couch, a little two-seater. Just thinking about colours, I'm thinking maybe we could bring the blue, start to bring the blue into the room because I've got quite a lot of grey and I do want to start bringing out the pops of colour. So I imagine that you just want something pretty simple for the laundry room i don't know maybe something like that could work what else have we got in the way of two seaters i mean we could go with a laundry day one but i don't like the yellow i don't think that works um and it's basically the same sort of thing as the ranch one um i do like that i think we'll go with that that's cute and we'll have a nice blue rug in the middle and I think I will put like a little long-ish table there nothing too wide if there is an option otherwise we can maybe use a hall table as the option and so what have we got that we can put on here so I've got like the little bits of laundry um, folding baskets that sort of thing Try not to get them clipping. I might move that. And we have like this stuff here. Actually, we'll put that on our folding table. Um, and I found this sort of thing here, which went with movie. Get famous, that's the one. Get famous is the word I'm looking for. So we've got like little baskets and stuff of things. Maybe we could go like that and I'm going to change the colors of these I'm just placing them at the moment actually this is a bigger basket so we'll put this bigger basket at the back and then like a little basket there so we've got some of the uh, why is nothing clipping there oh that's frustrating anywho I guess we'll just I, I don't want to have floating stuff but okay I know what we can do surfaces get some immaculate shelving if it clips onto the shelf then I can do it oops take off blue is this gonna clip on no it's not okay you make me sad you make me sad how you don't go on there ah okay well never mind we'll just leave that empty and um, maybe we could put that on there Float, float, float. I don't want you floating. And we've got like a little. Oh, we've got these um, storage things here too. I feel like this is too much. I might take rid of one of those. Um, maybe we could have this here. Here in the corner or this here in the corner like this and maybe a closed storage because the other one has books in it and I don't think that's quite what we want so we'll 
like that. Um, oh yeah, we've got some tails we can add on somewhere, somewhere, somewhere these tails will fit. Oh, that's got a clip there. Okay. Be weird like that then. Why are you going across? Ah, uh, I have no idea. So, a little bucket. And... Let's see about the table in the middle. So we're going to have a little folding table and I'll put some of this on here. I probably want to move this. Maybe we could do some stuff around or under the table too. That's an idea. So let's see what we've got. Oops. Little desks, tables. So what have we got in the way of a nice thin table like this one? Perfect. Thank you very much, Eco Living. And so we'll do like a blue rug under there. Maybe we could do all these bits and pieces. Oh, that goes on top. Excellent. That's not going to go there, but that can go underneath. Whatever the bit with the blanket spilling out. And okay, so we've got lots of folding going on there. Get on top of your folding. Uh, and then, okay, so we've got to think about. A blue rug so let's work on that a blue rug what are we gonna do with this blue rug hmm kind of want something that matches that so a slightly darker blue not a light blue but I think that's too bright yes there's something like that. Actually, that kind of works with the uh, the cushion on the couch. I'll put that at the side because it actually doesn't look too bad. There's that, which I don't mind either. Actually, I probably like that better than that. Uh, let's have a look at the super fuzzy rug. Oh, you know I love a super fuzzy rug. Ooh, baby. Okay, um, I actually like that better than that. <laughs> Ooh, I don't mind that at all. I just like that it brings the grey through too. But maybe that's too much grey. Hmm. That's too much grey. I just want to cut down on the grey. We could always go like a darker blue. I think that's too dark. That's quite overwhelming. So no. Um, there's always something like that. Which again is probably too dark. And I think this gets too big. Yeah. And we do want to keep it quite modern. So nothing too cottagey I think as far as a pattern goes I'm actually kind of going back to this I might go with that over the fuzzy rug I quite like that and I like that it's a nice simple pattern and that it uh, works nicely with the couch there so I think we have a one in there so let's have a wee look at our colors um, so I might go for a slightly darker color on the table let's mix up the colors of the laundry And the baskets. The blue. It's white. And blue. Kind of feel like I want to do have some other bits and pieces on the wall just like to fill this space maybe have some greenery running down in these bits because it's uh, you know I feel like a laundry is a really practical room so I don't want to add like heaps of stuff that you wouldn't find in a laundry maybe yeah like you're not going to have like lots of paintings and stuff in a, in a laundry you're not going to have like lots of I mean you have like a little couple little plants maybe but I don't imagine you would have like lots of things 
as far as decorative items goes go because it is a more practical um, thing a more practical room where you know it's, you want it to be functional not so much with the pretty even though it can be pretty at the same time I guess but it is all about the function in a laundry room that's how I feel anyway as a person who does a lot of laundry it is my feeling on it <laughs> uh, how, do, how do kids make so much laundry all of the time okay go something like that and then that uh, I don't know I think maybe I wish I had like a hanging uh, plant <laughs> section for this hey, hey, hey. I'm sure I've said that before but it's something I really do want that and maybe like a little thin picture down here something long and there's not enough long thin pictures in this game I mean there's not enough pictures full stop that I want to use but yeah long and thin I want it I want it bad okay go Put on the pink or just the blue that isn't the right maybe just go with blue and maybe something wall hangery here could be or we could put some shelves wasn't there some laundry day shelves with like baskets or something in there uh, let's have a look on surfaces yeah, there was some wicker stuff. So if we go with that colour, it'll need to be... I don't want the yellow in there. I don't think we want the brown. We could go with that. Can you put anything in these shelves? Does anything fit on those shelves? I'm sure like the little one dot plant probably does, um, which is this one here. Yeah, there we go. It's about the only thing that fits on everything. As far as I'm aware. Okay, so what else? I don't think anything goes in those little circle bits. So we've got, I really don't like that wall hanging. I'm going to delete that. And I need something for there as well. Would the shelving be better there? Got anything else wall hanging wise that would work? I mean, we could do the towels. But we kind of got those there, so I won't do that. I could, I mean, there's so much shelving in here. I, d I don't really want to put like any more sh shelving. There's a possibility we could put like a hanging unit there with some hanging clothes on it, but then that's just like a wardrobe and it's a laundry is not a wardrobe. It's got the remains of a wardrobe, but it is not an actual wardrobe. You know what we could do the uh, this one here. No, I just said I don't want shelves. <laughs> I literally just said it and then I'm like, I'll put some shelves up. No, no, I'm not putting shelves up there. <laughs> I'm gonna do something pretty and decorative just to add like a little something something to the room uh, there's always this actually that can go there thank you very much thank you horse ranch solved the problem there uh, I could hang bags but that's a bit weird um, I could have like a not the mood board, but maybe an organisational board. Is that something you'd have in the laundry? It's not something I'd have in the laundry, so. Not that there's much in my laundry. There's a dryer and a washing <laughs> There's a dryer and a washing machine. <laughs> and a laundry basket, and that's it. Uh, I, well, and a fridge, because as we've got a spare fridge and it's stored in the laundry. <laughs> but I think that might be a bit weird for this game. 
Not in this room, particularly. I've never used this. That's cute. Jungle adventure, you little rascal. Hiding things from me, eh? That will do nicely. So, I think we're about done with this room. Ah! I'm really happy with that. I think that's super functional. So, we're going to get our washing and drying. We've got our laundry. We've got our sorting table. We've got uh, a nice chair to sit down while we're waiting for the laundry, maybe. Not that a busy person would ever um, sit there and just wait for laundry, I guess. But maybe you're not a busy person. I don't know. Maybe you can change the colours of these. Cute. And we've got enough blue in there, and I think this works with the uh, kitchen as well. So let's us uh, take a tour. So I think this room looks busy and functional, and like it's actually being used. So that is definitely a tick. And I think it uh, does look like it's used as a combination of storage as well as um, a functional laundry room as well. And I think that makes it makes, makes sense, particularly in a uh, busy family household, which is what this is going to be, um, to have a room like this in it. So I think this is actually going to be a really good addition to the house. And it is something that we are actually going to be able to use as well which is cool. So thank you for joining me on this laundry journey. I hope you had fun. I've had a lot of fun building this because I don't build a lot of these and I hope you join me in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe and thank you. Bye!